Hey everyone, so here's something that was requested a little while ago and I finally got the opportunity to do it. Um, so this is on one of my students. She came in for a one-to-one -one and we had half an hour left at the end of the lesson and she wanted to um, see me do a Russian almond, so I did it on her. And it would be better for you guys to see it, me working on someone else, so rather than on myself doing this shape. So I've applied my form and I'm just starting off by putting a thin clear base just a, a rough one coming out from the form and free edge and then just covering the nail plate and a little more at that tip but I'm not too worried about getting it perfect I just want that very thin clear layer Also point out obviously she's a nail tech herself so any damage you can see on the nail plate is as a lot of you know nail techs we are savage on our own nails so that was damage that was there before she came in to me i'm then using this gorgeous glam and glitz color now i bought these a little while ago and i haven't had a chance to play with them and then i watched a video from nails by annabelle and um i finally got an idea of how to work with them because obviously i've been told work wet and i was working wet but what i consider wet and what you need to work for glam and glitz is quite different so in my eyes I'm like I'm almost working a bit sloppy but I do love this colour and as you can see it's a colour change so when it gets hot it changes a different colour so it goes that kind of lighter almost white um, I can't remember the name of this right now I want to say it's forget me not but it might not be so check the product description so I've just painted that on as like a thin clear base I'm then picking up a very small amount of the uh, rainbow gold shine I've got it in numerous different cuts here so I'm starting off with the multi cut kind of at diagonal corners on the nail and then I'm going to put a bit of the chunky cut in the middle so this is slightly bigger pieces so just pressing that into the wet acrylic and then I'm picking up some of the guiding stars again in rainbow gold shine and these are beautiful four point stars So just randomly placing those, kind of where I want to add them into the design really. Sorry if there's noise in the background, I can hear loads of dogs barking outside. So sorry if that's picking up. And then when I'm happy with that design, I'm going to cap the entire nail in crystal glass. So this is obviously when I start thinking about the structure of the nail and getting that shape in that I want. And I do love working with colour changing acrylics because the minute I've then put that new colour on, I mean the clear on, it's all starting to go the cold colour. But then as the nail cures, it goes the lighter colour. It's, it's so much fun. <laughs> Hours of entertainment for simple minds with colour changing acrylic. So I'm doing this in more than one bead, so I'm making sure that before I come on to the next bead, I've blended down that first bead so you don't get like a big ridge and then slightly overlapping my second bead. First of all, blending back and then pulling forward to create that shape. Just making sure I'm getting the correct thickness that I want. And then as it's curing, so my first off, I start doing a very gentle pinch with my thumbs down the body of the nail. Because as you can see, your pinching tool doesn't really touch the sides. Um, so as it's setting I do that pinch kind of down the body of the nail and then I pop the pinching tool on. And again when you're filing it keeps changing colour. <laughs> I seriously am so easily <laughs> impressed. So same filing technique as I do for every single shape. I get asked a lot like how do you file this in, how do you file that, and a bit of my hair there. Hmm. Um, <laughs> And I always do the same thing, so I start with the side walls. With this I kind of have a little look at um, 
like following the line out as well underneath but I tend I try not to take too much from underneath and it was so funny because my model had been complaining at her model all day relax your hands relax your hands and then when I came to do her hands she had the stiffest hands known to man <laughs> so that's me keep repositioning them and always make sure especially with shapes like this I have a rolling file technique so I'll start on one side and then I roll round onto the top and then round the other side of the nail. That will more often than not give you a really nice rounded, like a nice even shape to the nail. It's so easy to get, oh I've lost a bit here or I need to get rid of a bit here and just focus on one area. When you do that you end up with like lopsided uneven nails. I'll also point out, yes, I have a lump of acrylic on my thumbnail. Um, I broke it while getting my plug for my slow cooker out of the wall. Um, and then that was done like in the evening. And then for the next two days, I was full with clients. So there's a lots of videos with that on. And it was like two days before I needed to change my set anyway. So yes, there is a lump of acrylic securing my nail on until I can support it and repair it. So as you can see, I hold the nail to the side and then I make sure that I follow that line out straight. You want a nice straight parallel top and base line. So be very careful when you're filing straight that you don't tilt your file up, which you see a lot when people file in their squares. You want to keep those nice, so the top line of that nail and the bottom line nice and parallel. With another dusty brush, get rid of all that excess dust. And take a minute to really look at it from every different angle to make sure that you're happy with the shape. Okay, I'm now going to top coat this now. Starting with the cuticle area and blend and coming forward. Sorry, I went into autopilot there <laughs> and blending forward. No, top coat, Lucy, come on. And then I'm going to pop that in the lamp for 60 seconds LED. And then I'm going to use um, some of my opal crystal wheel. Um, and the nails on her other fingers are ones that she had come on the day with. I'm going to use my wax pencil and picking up just kind of whatever shape, size, colour kind of suited. And just following the glitter, but I'm doing random, so I'm not doing like a full Swarovski trail. I'm just following the glitter trail with like random Swarovskis there. And then I'm just going to come in with a bit of Crystal Nails Royal Gel using my Barbara Dew brush. And I just, I didn't really know what I was going for. I had a rough idea in my head. And I'm kind of almost putting lines in, almost like kind of braiding it in. So it flows down the nail.
then the mum happy with that. I'm going to come in with the super fine sleigh bells, which are in the crystal super fine collection, which I'm using a lot for sugaring at the moment. Yeah, scoops of that, making a hell of a mess. Make sure I'm getting it from all angles, it's all covered up. Popping that in the lamp, curing that for 60 seconds LED. And then dusting off the excess. And there you have it guys. So it's just a quick Russian almond at the end of our training session. So I hope you enjoyed that guys. Any questions, comments or requests, just pop it below. And now there's going to be a little video showing you the difference between hot and cold. Okay, thanks for tuning in. Bye!